Hey, what is up, guys? Morph Talks Wrestling here. Welcome to my WWE Monday Night Raw results and review Raw reactions right here with Marv. Uh, today I'll be covering the May 16th episode of Monday Night Raw. I had to look at the, at the, at the date. First of all, excuse me for the mess behind me. Um, I know it's a mess right there. I'm gonna clean it up. Don't worry about it. Um, it, it was pretty... I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It, it was... Uh, I, I don't know. To be, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how to read this Raw. I'm like right there in the middle. It wasn't the best Raw. I had a decent finish. Um, <clears throat> uh, there were great spots. There were bad spots. And there were the really bad ones. And there were just the ones where I didn't even bother watching. Honestly, three hours isn't really much for me. I mean... It is a lot for me, actually. It's too much. I can barely stay up until the next hour. But anyways, let's get right into the results. First, we got AJ Styles opening up the show. He says, well, he's been, of course, he cuts a promo on Roman Reigns. And he wasn't the smiley guy, no. He was, he was like, he was the guy that says, if you don't know me, they don't call me phenomenal for nothing. Because, you know, he's been... He's been champion all over the world, and so he should be recognized for how phenomenal he is. Out comes Roman Reigns. I'm just going to be the first one to say it. I do not like the Bloodline versus the Club um, feud. And yes, Roman Reigns and the Usos are called the, blood, the Bloodline. I know, I know. Um, The Club versus the Bloodline, no. It should be AJ Styles versus Roman Reigns. Carl... Carl I was going to say Carl and Anderson, Gallows and Anderson, they should be given their own separate storyline. And maybe, maybe later, they can reunite with AJ Styles. Because right now, AJ Styles, he's on the WWE Championship picture, doesn't really need the club. No offense to Carl, to, I was, once again, I was going to say Carl and Anderson, Gallows and Anderson, he doesn't need them, he's good. But anyways, um, as Roman Reigns, he didn't cut a bad promo, He did, it wasn't a bad promo, it was actually a pretty decent one. So Roman Reigns, AJ Styles gonna promo each other. Gallows and Anderson, they come out. Usos, they come out. And of course, Roman Reigns is standing tall. Um, so yeah, that's it. Then, during the, after that, they made a huge match. Sami Zayn versus Cesaro. I was, I was super excited for that match. They put on a fantastic. Hold on me. They put on a fantastic match in NXT, and I'm sure they they could have put on another one if WWE let them do so. But this match is going on. Cesaro and Ke I mean, The Miz and Kevin Owens were in commentary. Right? I'm sorry, I'm a really sleepy right now. I'm not, I barely had time to do this review. Anyways, and then just chaos in short. Uh, Kevin Owens, he attacked The Miz, and everyone just attacked each other. And then Shane McMahon comes out creating the attack. I, I was in my mind, I was just saying, please, no tag match. Please, no tag match. Nope. He creates Cesaro and Sami Zayn versus. The Miz and Kevin Owens, but then Stephanie McMahon comes out, and instead she says Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus Cesaro and The Miz, which is a lot better than the first when when then when Shane Shane said. And which, what was surprising is that Stephanie McMahon won up Shane, even though, even though the WWE creative team actually you know told her to do that. But but but, but, but let's just say it was Stephanie. Stephanie came up with it. Fuck it, right? So we have Cesaro in The Miz versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Right? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so towards the end, uh, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, they, the first time they've been, you know, a cohesive unit, I guess, really. Anyways, the, at the end, everyone just imploded. Uh, Sami Zayn won after hitting the Huluva kick on The Miz. But then after the match finished, Kevin Owens super kicked Sami Zayn. And Owens was left standing tall, and he was raising the Intercontinental... Well, no, he wasn't raising the Intercontinental Championship, he was just standing tall. And then, backstage, Renee Young interviewing Chris Jericho. Uh, Renee Young tells Chris Jericho that, um, that Dean Ambrose wanted to see him later tonight. And so, I will get to that later on. And then, Shining Stars of the Caribbean. We have Primo and Epico making their debut on Raw. Um, okay, so after seeing this, they already need to be repackaged. Oh, God, I'm so embarrassed. They got no crowd reaction. The crowd was absolutely dead. Their promo was shit, and it was just plain bad. It was 
just bad. It was just bad. It was just horrible. It was horrendous. I wanted to turn off my TV. I was actually, I'm actually serious. I wanted to turn off my TV. It was just absolutely embarrassing. I don't want to watch it. Primo and Epic will win after um, defeating uh, some jobbers. No, no disrespect to them. I'm sure they're great competitors. Then we have Dean Ambrose calling out Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho. Actually, no. Dean Ambrose challenges Chris Jericho to a match, but not just any match. And the Salem match, which is basically, if you watch TNA and, you know, you have Raven and his... You, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. It's basically a steel cage match, but at the top, there's a bunch of weapons. There's a chainsaw. I, I think I saw a chainsaw. I saw Mitch. I saw Barbie, the barbed wire bat. Um, so, yeah, before Ambrose made... The stipulation, Chris Jericho did agree to a match, and then Dean Ambrose said, it's just not going to be any match, it's going to be an Salem match. So we have Chris Jericho versus Dean Ambrose, and then the Salem match this Sunday at Extreme Rules, I'm pretty excited for that. Then we have Dana Brooks, Raw debut, she faces Becky Lynch. And while we're on the topic of women, or actually this feud in general, I'll get to the other women later on. Um, Emma, unfortunately, she suffered a back injury, which makes, which means she has to have surgery, and it's a ruptured disc. I know for sure she's not going to wrestle the same she ever did. Uh, but anyways, get well soon, Emma. I'm hoping to see you soon. So anyways, Becky Lynch versus Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke won. Clean by herself after Becky Lynch failed to to flip uh, over over Dana, so Dana Brooke capitalized. She hooked the legs and one two three match over. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. To me, it's a bit of a down because you know alone Dana Brooke. I'm sure she's she has to. I'm, she has to carry this feud by herself now between Becky Lynch. But right now, she's not really it. But hopefully in the near future, she will. Because she's definitely an amazing heel. Make Darren Young again, says Bob, Bob Backlund. Sorry, I, I never I never had the... the, 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 the I can never say that without stuttering, stu, stuttering. So yeah, another promo between Darren Young and Bob Backlund. If I say it slow, yes, I can say it. Um, so, yeah, that's it. And it's actually good, because at least we're getting a new twist. Something new, something unique. And then finally, after months and months and months, oh, the Golden Truth finally debuts. And what happened? They lose. They lose their first match as a tag team and Backstage, Shane McMahon announced that one of the Dudley boys will face Big Cass on a one-on-one -on -one singles match. And who would one of those Dudleys be? It would be Devon Dudley, or as Enzo said, Devin Dudley. Um, so yeah, it was pretty much a squash match for Big for Big Cass. Good for Big Cass, you know, he's alone, no Enzo. Uh, but he he is improving, he is great, and I, and I like it. It's good, good. So we have, we have a pretty great segment be, be, just for the new day. The new day. They made this time machine and it was actually hilarious. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was actually pretty great because we saw Kofi Kingston go back to 2009. Even when he even had his Jamaican accent too. He had this old theme. It was great hearing his old theme back in probably his own accent. But they went back to the bald villain's time to prove that it sucked. And I and I laugh really hard in the cereal part where I forgot what it was called. Um, let's see if I can find it. No, I can't find it. But uh, it's something squares. <laughs> I don't know. It, it was actually pretty funny. But the Vaude villains they they both attacked the, the New Day, which made them look very strong. It was great. Good booking. Good. Then we have the sixth match. The, probably the thousand time match, the thousand times in a lifetime, the Usos versus the club. Yeah, Gallows and Anderson. Um, Usos win for some reason, Gallows and Anderson. They're, wh the, what are you doing, WWE? You guys are ruining the club. Why? Why do the Usos have to go over? 
Uh, it's stupid. It's absolutely stupid. But we did see a great spot. But I would say that spot should have been saved for Extreme Rules. And that spot was AJ Styles performing a Styles Clash on Roman Reigns on top of a steel chair. Not that. They have to one-up it. There's no way. They have to one-up that, that, that spot at Extreme Rules. They should have saved it for Extreme Rules. But if they're going to do it on Raw, they better do something better at Extreme Rules. We have Rusev versus... Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. We have Alberto Del Rio versus Kalisto in a singles match. Rusev, obviously, he's going to face Kalisto for the United States Championship at Extreme Rules. Um, while the match is going on, backstage, Rusev was attacking Sin Cara. And, like, a few weeks after the League of Nations break up, they, they team up. What? Anyways, Alberto Del Rio won after hitting a backstabber, which sent Kalisto flying across the ring. And it was actually pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Alberto Del Rio won. That's it. That, that's pretty much it. Rusev looked very strong. Before I get to the main event, it was announced that at Extreme Rules, Baron Corbin will face Dolph Ziggler in a no disqualification match. At the, it, It's going to be in the kickoff show, so. I don't know. Baron Corbin better go over. If he doesn't go over, well. I'm just gonna. Anyways, main event, Natalia and Charlotte, contract signing. That's the second time Charlotte's gone in the main event, which is fine, absolutely fine, great. Pushing the women straight to the top, making sure people focus on the women. That's great. Two talented wrestlers, Charlotte and Natalia, they're gonna face each other in a submission match for the women's championship. Ric Flair's banned on ringside, and a third stipulation was added. If Ric Flair even walks down the ramp, Charlotte will forfeit the Women's Championship and Natalia will win it. And that is a great stipulation in my opinion. No Ric Flair, no interference, nothing. Just Natalia and Charlotte in a submission match for the WWE Women's Championship. And they both signed the match and obviously all contract signings end in, end in chaos. They all end in chaos, they all end the same, but someone should have been put through a table. I don't know. Sorry. Anyways, um, <clears throat> uh, Stephanie McMahon slapped Ric Flair, um, making Ric Flair fall, and then uh, Charlotte got put in the sharpshooter by Natalia. Charlotte was tapping and tapping and tapping and begging for mercy. Natalia was left standing tall to end the show. It was uh, it was down the middle. It was a down the middle show. It did have definitely have its downs with the shining stars, the Usos. Um, Probably I probably mentioned more, but anyways, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. What do you guys think of Raw? Tell me in the comments below. Please like the video. Please share the video. I would greatly appreciate it very much. Um, subscribe once again. I greatly appreciate any kind of support you guys can send me. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Links down below. Follow. Um, subscribe to my main channel and subscribe to my gaming channel. Links down below. Thank you guys for watching and have a beautiful day. Goodbye.